ABC News National Security and Defense Analyst Mick Mulroy joins me now for more on this. Mick, so far 150 Palestinian prisoners have been released as part of this swap. Today Israel agreed to possibly release 50 more over the next two days. But only 69 hostages held by Hamas have been freed in exchange. So what's the strategy here? So, Diane, I think this is clearly uh, one of the main pressure points between the United States and Israel, and quite frankly, the Israeli government and Israeli people. They're demanding that they get all the hostages out uh, for obvious reasons, uh, and, and they're willing to give up quite a bit. And that includes uh, these prisoners and detainees that are being released from Israeli prisons. And also, uh, this truce itself is more beneficial to Hamas, as they're likely going to reposition themselves, move their command and control likely to the south, uh, and quite frankly, move the hostages that they don't intend to release. So it is it is a trade-off, but I think Israel went into this knowing that, and it was worth it for getting their hostages out. Mick, the Israel, uh, Israeli Defense Forces say they're prepared to continue fighting in the Gaza Strip, and they say they're using the pause to, quote, learn, strengthen our readiness, and approve future operational plans. So what does that tell you about the trajectory of this war? So, Diane, I think this means that as soon as this truce is over, the IDF is fully ready to resume their combat operations. And it's important to note uh, that it's likely that they have most of their fighting ahead of them. Uh, by the only estimates I've seen, around 2,000 Hamas fighters, potentially more, but not many more, have been killed. And there's roughly around 40,000 Hamas fighters. So you can just do the math and figure out this is long from over. The tunnels are going to be a significant issue. Uh, it's likely most of them. Uh, the leadership has, has gone to the south, which is going to be complicating. So this is this fight is far from over. When this truth is suspended, then they will likely start in full fury, uh, going back to their objective, which is to destroy Hamas. All right, ABC News National Security and Defense Analyst Mick Mulroy, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.